Hello everyone, so let's get into installing uh, the Velocihacker server so we can do follow the, the path and then config and then generate and then if you want to do some like uh, custom minus i to do that and now it will ask you which system you want to install it on so we'll say Linux so keep that we want to install it over here now since we didn't by the way probably provide root so uh, it might not work so let me cancel this and then just put root, uh, sudo with it so that way yep and now linux path that's the path i want to install it to i i'm going to use a self-signed certificate keep it that way the public ip address name of the master front end like uh here you if you see that you saw the lab that we did uh, we'll do localhost or we can put the IP address of our computer so let's see what that is so I'm going to use this IP address okay and then front port leave it the default you don't need to change Port for the, the GUI, also leave that the default. Are you using Google domains? No. So keep that like GUI username or email address to authorize empty to end. Uh, we can kind of use user one. And then the password, I usually use the password that you already know. The GUI username empty to end. So now it's the path to log files. Let's configure that. This is useful for shared server it removes potential dangerous so like yep let's uh let's just accept the default by the way where should i write the server config files keep them where you are so they will be created in the same path so you'll see them now created in the same path as the uh the the the, the, the application itself or velociraptor so that's by the way i know i'm using like a gui base system but it's going to be the same same command same everything so that's it for this video we'll continue the next one